Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be doing, I guess like a tips and tricks kind of video where I'm gonna basically let you guys know different ideas or techniques that I use to add color into my looks, um, not just my eyeshadow, but my lips, my liner, whatever I choose to do, and ways to add a pop of color, a lot of color, barely any color into my looks and different ways that I love to do it. So if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so today I did one of my favorite ways to um, add color to my looks. So I'm real big on smoky eye. The reason that I am is just it's very easy. It's a simple technique. It's a simple look quick probably not out the door quick but like it's quicker than like a cut crease and all that other jazz so what I do basically if I want to add color um is I will pick a color to go under and smoke it out and then add the black to the lid or if it's like a brown or reddish or orange I'll do brown on the lid but if it's like you can do this like today I did it with purple you can totally do this with blues and greens and all that and it just looks like just a pop of colors just kind of like shining out just a little bit but nothing crazy again you don't have to put the black under here you could just put the color so that it's not as dark because i know that some people don't like super dark looks either however for me I really don't mind. I don't mind wearing a lot of color. So kind of, I guess making this video, it's a little bit hard for me to make a how to add color just because I don't have a problem wearing color. I don't fear it. I, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I know that a lot of people can feel uncomfortable with wearing it. So that's why I'm kind of like here doing this. But I'm just gonna give you ways that I like to do it. If you don't wanna try it that way, of course you don't have to but these are like my things. So again, I do start with the general smoky eye where I'll put the color and then I take the dark and I diffuse it out so the color is not as bright. This purple, I actually have the palette here because I wanted to show you, it's the Morphe 15S. And this purple right here, it was this purple and then this pink mixed together. So besties and influencer mixed together and then I put that on there and I took the black and just smoked it out. Now I like to go a little extra so I put it on the bottom as well and bring it down and then just put some of that black on the lash line and some liner to really pull it together. However, if you didn't wanna do that, you wanted to just have it more color, less dark, then instead of the black, just put that color that you smoked out up here just bring it around so you'll just have the purple for instance around so it will still have that dark smoky look so it makes the color less intense so you can do it with green you can do it with blues pinks um i suppose you could do it with red but it might not look me and red and black are just not we don't mix so if i did red i would probably do it with more of a very dark brown more than a black um, orange I'm gonna do with a dark brown just because I feel like black and orange is gonna scream Halloween and if it's not Halloween time you might not want to look like a pumpkin so those are ways that I will put it in subtly behind something else so it the color itself doesn't pop out first basically is why I do that the black does so it's not as like oh that's blue or oh that's green it's just like a subtle hint of color. The next way that I like to add color is I will actually go all nude on the eyes and I got this from I believe Kylie Jenner. I believe she started this trend. I don't know for sure but I'm pretty sure she did um, where she did the just like the nude and the pop of pink here. Um, I did that but I also branched out and I did blue. I did green one time, orange, pink, I loved it. Literally, the only one I didn't like was blue. So I found out why I didn't like it because for whatever reason, I looked at that video and I looked at that picture, like the photos I took that day, and I was like, what is it that I don't like? <laughs> well, I found out with some research and a friend of mine um, at work said that blue actually pulls, will pull your eyes in. So if I have blue in the center here, where your, your eyes are gonna go directly there, 
So because of doing that, it kind of just like something was off about the photo. Um, I really hated it. So I do not recommend blue in the center. Um, if you want to try it, then of course, by all means. Um, so I do like to put that pop of color. That way that's easy. And that's like a one, two, three out the door look. Like some nude, give a little definition, pop a color of your choice, whether it be green, purple, rainbow, whatever. Pop it in there. It looks like you did so much more than you actually did. And it's really pretty. So number three is going to be a almost monochromatic because you're gonna be using all of the same color, just in different shades. So for instance, I did a blue look with the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. Um, in that, I did like the dark blue. I almost did like a smoky eye again with the dark blue on the lid, the lighter blue up here, and a middle blue in the crease to kind of blend it together so it almost just shifts and transitions. Very like ombre-like on the eye. Um, that, however, is a very bold way to add color. So if you do that, like today's look, I paired a nude and the nude that I used today was Dose of Colors and this is in Toast. I don't really know what it's called. I think it's just their like matte lipsticks. It's literally just a tube lipstick. Um, it's crazy to close. Like I get it all over the lid all the time, but it is in the color Toast. So whenever I do that, if I'm gonna do that bold of a color where I stay in the same color family, I just tend to shift up so from dark to light to give it some definition and just to really pop. I however will not do a very bold lip because I feel like then it could be a little too much. So when I did that I did wind up doing a blue lipstick as well and it was pretty and it's, it's very like artsy and nice to take photos with but really probably not your best bet to go into the office with or you know your job um if that's if you can or you're comfortable doing that then it's totally up to you but i just for me having blue all over my face is not really my favorite thing to do um but when it comes to lipstick if i wear a colorful lipstick which i love colorful lipsticks um so i have a couple here but so i have these two but they're not actually for my lips so i'll tell you what i use them for so just for instance like these colors i know that a lot of people are kind of like I don't know, or blues i have blues i have teals obviously i have a lot of different choices in lipsticks um blacks even i know that black isn't really a color but i have a lot of bright bold like in your face lips if I do that, I will usually do just like a natural eye, just like a nude color, give it some, either some shimmer or maybe I will do like two different tones of browns or nudes on my eye just so it has some definition and it's not just like one color. Um, just so it, like, that's like one of my favorite is having a, like a bold pop lipstick. It's an easy way to add color. It's more comfortable, I feel like, because I feel that like crazy color lipsticks are going to be more acceptable or acceptable, acceptable than crazy blue, yellow, green, hot pink eyeshadow. So, and again, that's just my opinion. I just love having a nice bold lipstick. So if I do that, I will not do a crazy bold eye however that takes me to my next option which is and I hope these help you like I really do comment below and let me know because I started to like write these down and then I started thinking because when you do things like day to day you don't really take into account like the things or techniques that you do so when I had gotten a request for something like this I was like I don't really I don't know but and then it started to just come to me um they did want to see me do a look and so they could recreate it but I felt more like I guess being informational more than being technical so that's why I went with how to incorporate colors so leading me to my next one is going to be if you do um, back to the monochromatic, a nude lip, you can always take one color, like orange is my favorite to do this with, and just basically smoke it out all over the eye from the lid up here. So from the lid, not all the way to your brow bone, but where that purple ends, and just smoke it out so make sure it's not just, you know, sitting there, It's it, it looks nice, it's smoothly applied. Um, and then I will put a regular lip, whether it be nude, or whatever color goes with the color I chose, but literally it's one shadow. And then one of my favorite, and you guys have seen it many a times, is I like to take a pencil brush, which is just a pointy dome 
shaped brush. My favorite is the Morphe one and this is, or this is an old one because it doesn't have it on here, but it's a pencil brush. So the technique I, know I like to do other than just the pop of inner corner, uh, the pop of color in my inner corner is actually taking this and sweeping color under the eye. So on the bottom lid here, what I usually do is, um, that's where I put my most, like my pop of color the most, is that inner corner and underneath because it's easy, it's not too frightening. So it's kind of like stepping you into color. And the reason I say that is because I think a lot of the time, we're not really afraid of color. I think that we think People are like looking at us like, oh, look at that. Look at that, all that color she's got on her eyes or look at that bold lipstick. But the problem that I've learned over the years is that it isn't really like surprising to other people. It's more surprising to ourselves. And we're just like, so if you're not used to wearing color or brighter color, it's gonna be a little bit of a shock when you look in the mirror. So what I did many years ago when all I wore was lip gloss and newt <laughs> was at home like this is before i wore them out in public I, i'm not kidding like four years ago put on like a bold lipstick whether it be purple blue green i'm talking crazy color wow factor and just look in the mirror throughout the day wear it at home so you're comfortable and look at it throughout the day put bright colors on your eyes use all kinds of color just so you get used to it you get comfortable with it because once you're comfortable with it it won't matter it won't even feel like you're wearing like colors so that's why i think a lot of people are almost afraid to use colors because they're just not comfortable and the problem is if you don't get used to it you won't get comfortable doing it so if it's only something that you do like once a month once in a blue moon you're not going to get comfortable wearing it and no matter what technique i show you or what look i give you you're not going to feel comfortable you're going to think it's too much or too bold and you're not going to want to wear it out and i'm telling you it's beautiful and when I see colors and when I see people wearing colors and they're just blended so beautifully, it blows me away. It blows me away because it's very easy to use brown, light pink, and shimmers. So when you t step out of your comfort zone and you start wearing those colors, I'm telling you, more people are going to give you compliments than you think. The next items I want to show you are blending brushes and the reason I want to show you is because these are going to be your best friend when it comes to colorful looks. So usually I do not go super bold with color on my lid unless it's one of those monochromatic looks. For instance, um, I'm not just gonna take a flat brush and take this color right here and just throw it on my lid and walk out the door. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's not okay, don't do that. Um, I'm gonna buff them out. I'm gonna buff them out, I'm gonna transition them, I'm gonna use a nude to diffuse them so that way they are still beautiful, but tamed, controlled. Um, but these are like some of my favorite ones. I have the Morphe 5, M514, which is a smaller one to get for under the eye, like I like to do, it's one of my favorite things to do, to diffuse that color. Just so it's there, but it's just barely there. The um, JS5, and the reason I grabbed this is literally because it is like the other Morphe brush, and I can't remember what, I have some in there, but it's my favorite Morphe brush, and I think the only thing different is the handle. I don't think the brush is any different. However, this cost me way more money. So it was just the first one I picked though. And then the Morphe 505, which is more of a dense one to add that smoky texture to your eye. You don't really wanna go in straight with like a whole boatload of color here cause it'll be harder to disperse. You can always do crazy, artsy, beautiful looks if you want. Um, it, it really is up to you. Uh, I do recommend just Google searching the color wheel because that, it really helps you out a lot because there are certain colors that you're like, yes, these are gonna be so beautiful, but then you put them together and they kind of blend out yucky or they just don't really give you the look that you want to achieve. So again, you could just Google color wheel and it will literally tell you everything. You could probably YouTube it and there's probably tons of people who have like what colors go with what, you know, and again, there's no rules to make up. So I'm not saying you can't have this color with this color, but there are guidelines that kind of help you make it easier. So 
I don't mind doing more colorful looks on my channel. If that's what you want, then I want you to go ahead and tell me below so I know. Um, I just want to get these techniques out first, these ideas, these thoughts to you before we start doing like a color looks. Because the problem is if I sit here and I go, okay, I'll do a color look and I pull out the blue blood palette, which the problem is a lot of people buy them and they don't use them. They're like, I don't know, I just don't use this. We don't use it because you're not comfortable with the colors. So if you're not comfortable with the colors, you probably don't want to start with a big palette like that. There's a lot of palettes that I like that are colorful. <sighs> Surprisingly enough, the James Charles palette is one of them. Um, it has a lot of color in it. BH Cosmetics has some, and I hate that company. Um, I hate that company. If you're not new here, I had a really big problem with their customer service. So I'm not really a fan. I don't have any of their products, and I probably never will, just because to me, customer service is everything. So if I come to you and I'm real crappy um, about whatever I'm telling you, you're probably not gonna listen to me. You're probably not gonna care for me or follow me because guess what? I have a crappy attitude. So it was like that, but Morphe, like I'm not an affiliate. This is not sponsored. However, they have my go-to colorful palettes they just do um that's what they're 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 pretty known for like their colorful palettes um i think color pop has some pretty good ones but when it comes to like real vibrant colors morphe's gonna be where it's at and i think this was like 15 dollars so you get all these bright purples and pinks and shimmers and oranges and greens actually this is a weird layout of color but you get all of these shadows for 15 dollars so for me it's totally worth it. If you get the bigger ones, it's a little bit more. I think it's like 35. If you get the collabs, I think they can range from like 39 or up. I do have the Jeffree Star one. I did like the colors in that as well. If you guys have any questions about any of the things that I said, techniques on how to do it, if you want a video explaining them, then I totally, totally will. So basically that is it for today's video. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a brief, I guess, like list of ideas or things or ways however you want to put it <laughs> that I use color or I incorporate color into my looks um, again it can really be anything you can use lip liner you can use color mascara whatever you're comfortable with there's so many ways than just doing a nude look I have a lot of friends who they buy these palettes and they don't do anything with them because they don't know how to use color or they're not comfortable or they think that it's too much this or too little that and I'm telling you get comfortable in what you love play with it even if you're going nowhere play with it sit in front of the mirror and just throw it on your face because at the end of the day that's how you're gonna learn how to do it and that's how you're gonna learn how to really apply it to your face is practice 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 look in that mirror and tell yourself i'm comfortable i'm beautiful and i freaking love this color <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Bye.